you, you can't turn into the second part of the pit lane then. That's no, you can't. No, the yeah. pit lane. You know, I, I, you, hello, oh, big shot. That's, uh, that's a big one. You were saying that it's been is a while. The level five car. The door open, uh, which is good news. Uh, we're going to find out in just a moment. Here we go. It is a level five car. Now then, all the way round and in. Oh. And O'Rouge claims another victim. Oh dear. Right rear suspension failure as well. Yeah. Well, safety car deployed. I think there's possibly two of them. Uh, we're going to find well, out you, right you now. You were just asking for one car, and you've got it. Well, it's not but out of desire. I was just wondering yeah. why it'd been so quiet, and all of a sudden <laughs> it gets very, very lively with three and a half hours remaining. So that's Check this out. Christoph Bouchou on board. 30th year right of race. Right oh. rear right suspension. And yeah. that was the right rear that had contact with the Greaves Motorsport car. And I tell you what, one thing you also saw was that car started to take off. It did. And yeah. just got out and, of it. And, and came down as well. So yeah. the, the rear the rear panel that has been brought in to stop the car taking off did its job there because the car started to lift and then came back down again. It may well have been on its roof otherwise. Mm. Yeah. yeah, there we are. So uh, safety to the fore. The safety cars have been deployed here. Now, we've had all kinds of safety car issues so far this season, Mark. I think it's possibly worth uh, talking about pickup here. Now, one thing we can see now is the safety car train is going past the pits and the Audi is stuck in the pits. So not only has it had a problem, it's now being held at the end of the pit lane and possibly losing another lap. So yep. things not going well for the car that well, streaked off into the lead at the start of the race. And so too is Nick Leventis, who was le whose yes, car was definitely. leading P2. That's going to cost them as well. Well, for those who have got caught here, it's, uh, it's bad news. Uh, thankfully, the good news is that... Uh, Christoph Bouchou is OK. Is OK, yeah. yes. Um, he had a bit of contact with one of the BMWs, I think, in uh, qualifying. But uh, that's a sad sight, seeing an Audi getting held up here. So are they running two safety cars this weekend? We, we were told so, but yeah. um, uh, as yet, we haven't caught sight of the second. Tell you one thing that has gone wrong in that accident is uh, Bouchou has actually gone under the tyre barriers. <laughs> so where, 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 when you go, the, the tyre barrier you should go in and out. What's happened is, is the, the front of the car has gone underneath and straight in. So, uh, you know, that's going to make the impact just a little bit more severe. Well, not only that, um, they're going to have to make sure that all the tyres are back in place yes. and uh, that the banding is in the correct place as well. So Nick Leventis waiting to get back out in the what was the P2 leading strike. If this is going to hurt them, it's going to hurt the number two Audi behind him. And I think that's the uh, Kiefel car behind him, isn't it? That was uh, third in the petrol division. Christoph then goes back in to collect some bits of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't want to leave anything behind here. No. And, um, he's probably been told he's got to pay for it, so he's collecting all he can. So. <laughs> that wasn't his fault, that's really no. Well, the, the, the end result wasn't his fault. Who was responsible for collision, we don't know. Oh, what's that? Well, what's what they do now? They pull the car out and they pull the back rear, rear oh, right. straight oh, off. That's what's right. happened, yeah. OK. Right. Thank you very much. I think oh, that says yeah. everything you need to know.